Let's get down to the ring. Wildside senior official Speedy Nelson assigned this matchup. Very happy that he is. Is uh, that's Wildside's favor. Yeah, they, that's right. they give to Speedy because well, see, they, you can't seem to, to get any female contact outside of the ring, but that's okay. That's all right. Well, hopefully we won't. Speedy won't have to get a room during this matchup. Side head like applied. Here by Chrissy Vane, reversal there by Jenny Taylor. As an influx of great female competitors continue to arrive here in NWA Wildside, Daisy Hayes really leading that revolution. Still in my mind, the pound for pound best female grappler in the world today. And if wow. we were to institute a women's championship with a don't see down the pike anytime soon, honestly, just because simply there are not enough competitors available in the division, uh, Daisy Hayes would, would be an odds on favorite to be the champion there. And these yeah. two, here now trying to prove their medal, and, and here in Wildside, Hayes has been the standard bearer. So let's see how they can do. Well, high praise indeed. I don't know, it's quite a revolution, as you put it, but regardless, it's a nice little influx of talent of the feminine type here at NWA Wildside, and we'll take him when we can get him. Certainly. Inside led like a blight here by the cocky Chrissy Vane. Japanese arm back. Jenny Taylor nails that. There's a hip toss. She throws down a drop kick. And Chrissy Vane seems to be awfully concerned about the condition of her hair and her makeup. From here, they both look just fine. I don't know what she's worried about. She did bring a mirror with us so she can check up on it at various stages throughout her. Oh, thrown first onto the top rope. And did she ever sucker Jenny Taylor into that one? I heard both these competitors are somewhat familiar with each other out. Figure perhaps that Jenny Taylor could have anticipated such a diabolical move from the very vain Chrissy Vane. And she's a, I hear Chrissy Vane is a, a big fan of cereal. Special K is what they refer to her as. That was over my head, Steve. Cereal, Special K. <laughs> How difficult is that? I get it, I'm just trying to make a joke. Okay, oh, you, you, you stage me up. Uh, Irish whipped into the far corner. The Gibson roll there by Jenny Taylor. Nicely executed, but not enough to get the three count. Oh, Chrissy Vane nails her with a clothesline. Boy, very convincing clothesline, too. Vane on top of Taylor. Oh, Taylor's able to roll his shoulder up in time. I have no idea what that feels like, but it can't be good. Standing on the hair, one of the tried and true maneuvers of, of women's wrestling, and my God, yeah. that must hurt. Thank you, fabulous Mula. And I think May Young pioneered that in the, during the Lincoln administration. Lincoln, digging in for the first NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Defeated uh, Chick Donovan, uh, I believe, for that title. No. Snap suplex here by Chrissy Vane. Lateral press. Jenny Taylor obviously fighting with all she's worth. The onslaught of the Vane, Chrissy Vane, on display here this week on Wildside. Sunset flip by Taylor. Vane is in the ropes. There's a rake to the eyes. Chrissy Vane throwing some forearms there. Reversal by Taylor. And a hard close line by Taylor. Arm drag takeover, and she locks it. Good mat work from Jenny Taylor. And the rather crafty Chrissy Vane able to turn to her advantage off, oh, but that's only brief. The crowd here at the NWA Arena have not seen uh, this, this many pretty women all in the ring at one time ever. Backbreaker there by Chrissy Vane. And, and now she's just choking her. Oh, women could be so ruthless, Steve. Oh, you, you obviously know my ex-wife. I know my current one. Hey, boy, the bloom is off the rose. Oh, and Jenny Taylor got her. But happily, Chrissy Vane's hair still looks fine. Jenny Taylor with a rather impressive debut here at NWA.